Good morning, my lovelies. Welcome back. So it is Sunday and we are going to look at the week ahead. What does this week have in store for us? We are just coming out of the new moon in Leo, which was a beautiful heart-centered moon. And we are taking this energy with us into the week. Now, this week, Mercury is stationing retrograde. So yes, this is going to affect the mood of the week. It is going to slow things down a little. It is also going to make us maybe be a little more naggy, if that's the right word, where we are just thinking, ah, you know, this is not good enough and this is not good enough and also not good enough. It's that that Virgo energy when it's in its lowest form. It's that energy of no, that is not good. Change this. This needs to be better. This needs to be better. But there is, of course, a lesson in that. Energetically, uh, the lesson is: Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you getting lost in the nitty gritty? Where are you getting lost in the smaller stuff? You know, where are you losing sight of where you're going? The bigger picture. It obviously isn't wrong to look at details, right? Be detail oriented, specifically in certain areas in our lives. But we need to make sure that we are not getting stuck in that. So yes, take your time, look at the details, read the fine print. You gotta do that in specifically in Mercury retrograde, but don't get lost in it. There is a video for all 12 rising signs, so you might want to watch that video. Um, it, I think, came out on Tuesday or on Thursday, but you, you will find it on my channel. This is not going to be the worst retrograde we've ever experienced. It might feel a little more dicey in the middle of the month because during that time we will also go through the Saturn-Jupiter square, and I think that will affect us deeply and it will also possibly intensify that uh, Mercury retrograde in Leo because Mercury is going to retrograde back into Leo, uh, specifically 21 degrees of Leo. So if you have any points or planets between 4 degrees of Virgo and 21 degrees of Leo, this retrograde may, may feel much more intense. To you but generally it is a little lighter um we will have the kazimi period on the 18th i also am talking about this kazimi period specifically in the retrograde video so watch that to find out what that means for you and your sign and uh yeah i mean for me the way i look at retrogrades is i use retrogrades as a review um a, a tool to review my life generally where am i at where do I want to go? How am I walking through life? The way I'm walking through life, is, is, is that serving me? Is that me? Am I walking through life as me? What, do need, what needs to be adapted? What needs to be shifted and changed? What's my direction? Where am I going? Also, I'm uh, obviously reviewing the way I communicate. Who I communicate with. My social circle. Uh, that that that's how I use uh, a Mercury retrograde. I'm also not too concerned about uh, you know travels and booking stuff and tickets and flying, even though um, I've certainly noticed that during that time, if I travel, if I book a ticket, there are a lot of changes. But I, I don't really, I'm not really concerned with that too much. I think I, I utilize this energy more in the area of what can I learn uh, about myself, about my life about my thinking process, um, about the way I move through the world, the way I show up. So that is happening today, basically. So just to, reca uh, just to recap, Mercury retrograde starting today on the 5th of um, August and will last until the 28th. I have to look at it again. and will last until the 29th of August. Then also today we have Venus move into Virgo and uh, Venus will obviously meet with Mercury very soon. 
Uh, that conjunction uh, is happening also this week. Venus in Virgo is a bit of a, mm, she's not a party pooper, but she is, she's much more concerned with details. She, she's also concerned with her health and taking care of herself in a, sometimes in a bit of an obsessive uh, kind of way. So we, again, we've got to make sure we find the balance here. The way I will use this time with Venus in Virgo uh, is um, I will review my, um, my health, you know, the, my physical body, the health of my physical, emotional and mental body. And where can I improve things? Where can I beautify things? How can I beautify things? How can I make things better? Um, you know, where do I actually have to look um, at a few details and uh, that then maybe can help me improve uh, in, 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 in those areas. So then on Wednesday the 7th we have the Sun sextile Jupiter and yes Venus conjunct Mercury retrograde. Um, so the Sun sextile Jupiter is a beautiful, uh, it's, it's probably the highlight for me this week. I mean yes the highlight is the Mercury retrograde but for me uh, specifically I love this this aspect. It's such a gorgeous aspect where we really see the bigger vision and we, you know, we, we are remembered, we, we are reminded on the bigger vision for our lives. And I love that this falls uh, into this Mercury retrograde because, you know, we are reviewing. We are also resetting in Mercury retrograde. Yeah, that there's, there's, it's not just a review, we are, it's like a reset. It's like, okay, reset, release, and then we move forward again. So, Having this aspect, this aspect Sun sextile Jupiter during this week, during the Mercury retrograde, um, just reminds us that yes, details are important, but also we can't uh, lose sight of the bigger vision in life that we have for our life, where we want to go, what we want to achieve, how we want to live. Um, so, and this day will serve as a reminder. And then yes, like I said, Venus is conjunct this Mercury retrograde. So I think this is a very specific day when it comes to, um, of course, communication in relationships. This is going to be a topic, but also because we are talking about Virgo, that would be a good day to, 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 to maybe look at the details of like, you know, what exactly is the problem? And is that actually a problem or do, are we making this a problem? Um, so when, when we look at it in relationships, like, you know, you know, maybe you haven't been seeing eye to eye in your relationship and, you know, you know, you, you look at what, what really is going on, what is underneath it. Or this could also relate to pleasure in the relationship. What does it mean for both of you? What does pleasure mean for both of you? And is it aligning? This doesn't mean that you, you have to find the same things pleasurable. 100%, right? But the, you gotta, you know, there got, there's gotta be some alignment. I think today is a really good, a good day to, um, yeah, to review that together in your relationship. And then if you're not in a relationship, maybe you want to look at it from the perspective of where you're at in your life right now. Maybe we gotta scale back, you know, to feel healthier. You know, maybe you've been going out too much. Maybe you've been drinking too much. Maybe you've been eating too much. Maybe you haven't really you know, work out, you know, that, that could come up, you know, self-improvement is a big, big topic here uh, with this aspect as well. Now, as you probably noticed, there's not that much else going on this week, but, you know, also we've, uh, we are, we've started uh, eclipse season. Uh, if you watched my video uh, last week, we've started eclipse season and that energy is building now too. So this is going to get quite intense again. Towards the end of next week, we are really, we are really pushing up the hill. But uh, we will discuss that in next week's video. Uh, for now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you want a personal reading, click on the link in the description box. Anything else, uh, feel free to ask. I'm here for you. And uh, yeah, have a beautiful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.